Well, hey friends, happy Friday, happy weekend. Um, I think I'm going to try and vlog this weekend, so hopefully you will enjoy that. I am currently sitting in my dentist's office parking lot. I have an appointment in about 15 minutes for a cleaning and I'm not looking forward to it, being real. Um, and it is, as you can see, long sleeves on. It is January, I don't even know eight, nine, ten, I'm not sure the date, but um, it was 52 degrees today when I left my house, and it was feeling very cool in my house, so I stuck some long sleeves on. Thankfully, outside feels a little bit warmer than I thought it would, but yeah, we're in January, or January, June, and I'm on long sleeves, go figure. So anyways, I'm going to hop into my appointment. I may go get a few groceries afterwards, and um, we've got kind of a fun-filled weekend-ish. Um, Shane has a field trial this weekend here in town, so he will be really busy with that. Tomorrow we are going to a, um, a camp. There's like a camp open house I want to send Aubrey to this summer, so we're going to go check it out and see if it's going to be a good fit for her. And yeah, I don't know what else is going to happen, but it's going to be good, so come along with me. Well, I'm back from my appointment. Um, it went okay. The hygienist was a little rude. Um, but that's alright. We'll carry on with life. But the bad thing is, is when I was pregnant with Cole, I had to get a root canal. And it's the tooth is bothering me. And it shouldn't bother me. Um, and it's sensitive to cold. So that shouldn't be because when you have a root canal, basically they... Um, clean out all the nerves. They debride the tooth and they remove all of the nerves. And so there shouldn't be feeling there. And there is. And so the dentist told me that what is probably happened is that there is still some nerve tissue still in the tooth. And because everything on top looks good, um, it, that's basically what it could be. Um, so they are going to refer me to a specialist and that will be two grand up front. And we just, we don't have that money right now. Um, as you know, Shane's not working and there's no work in sight. It's now been over six months. So um, I just have to live with the sensitivity and I can call and get my referral when he starts working again and we are back on our feet, but that stinks. <laughs> so it is extremely sensitive actually. So I just need to be kind of careful and yeah. So I'm feeling a little like, pale and pasty and right now um, I'm gonna run to Walmart and get a couple groceries well hey guys I just got done filming my grocery haul and sharing with you my meal plan so I'm actually just gonna tack it onto my fridge right now so you kind of don't lose track of what I'm doing this week um, I am going to make dinner we are going to have pizza it's our Friday night tradition um, I am really hungry um, my dentist appointment and then grocery shopping and all of that ran kind of late so I didn't really get to eat a good lunch and I'm starving. <laughs> so I think I'm going to eat off plan tonight and just have homemade pizza with the kiddos and Shane has already gone to his field trial and I am just feeling like I am going to have one of those home kind of evenings where I'm just putzing around my house and I'm really excited about it. Um, I might do some baking. I'm going to do some cleaning and just kind of enjoy being home. I'm happy to have a home. <laughs> I had to do some dishes and I need to get this pizza made. That's all I'm going to do. So as I'm getting dinner ready, we're just in messy moments. Um, so I'm getting dinner ready and I'm out of... So, this moment, these past few minutes when I, since I stopped recording have been messy, very messy. My house is trashed for my kids. Um, my son is potty training and in the midst of trying to clean the dinner dishes and um, make dinner and put away food and just get the whole evening together running smoothly, you know, he's... <laughs> going to the washroom and sort of running back and forth and it's just 
a mess and I'm making my pizza and I am like a cup short of flour that I need and I've come to the end of my flour finally and so I've substituted some coconut flour and I'm hoping that that will work and we're just kind of crossing our fingers there but it's all this mess and I had been feeling so confident and so good and so great and I just got whacked by life and um, just kind of those stressful moments. You can probably hear my, my kiddos shouting right now and um, I had to take a second to like regroup and regroup them and just refocus things and as I'm shredding my cheese for my pizza, Laura Casey, Laura Casey jumps onto Periscope and she just starts talking about prayer. And Laura Casey is incredible. She's, I want to be here when I grow up. She's amazing. Um, L-A-R-A-C-A-S-E-Y. You can find her on, um, she has a blog, Facebook, Instagram. She's so encouraging. She loves the Lord with all her heart. She's an author. She's just amazing. And she jumps on Periscope. And she just starts talking about prayer. And she talked for less than three minutes it feels like and she prayed over us who were on the scope and I'm telling you as I'm in my kitchen living life knee deep in mess that prayer just like washed over me and I'm telling you it just refocused myself like it brings things back into focus of why I do what I do and you know it solidifies in my heart like what I'm doing as a mom, um, you know, I have a kingdom purpose in raising my children the way that I do, and I have a kingdom purpose in trying to be who I am and and how I'm functioning throughout this life. And you know, stress comes, and stress can be so. Ugh, <laughs> it just can physically and mentally just take you out of a good space and. I'm telling you, that prayer just brought me back right where I need to be. It doesn't mean that there's not chaos around me. It doesn't mean that my house is not a disaster. It doesn't mean that my kids are not going to be screaming and nitpicking. But it does mean that I can center my eyes and my heart back on where they need to be. And I can know that God is for me and not against me. And that as I'm puttering about my home and I'm preparing food and I'm doing my dishes and the very mundane aspects of life that every single one of us are going through or have been through or will go through, um, he's there and he is right in that mess of all of it. And mamas, he wants to just take you by the hands and help you through. So rely on his strength and rely on him to just carry you through. You know, sometimes we just need a simple prayer to say, God, I need your help. Help me in this moment. It doesn't have to be a fancy sort of prayer. It just needs to be said. And <sighs> he's there to meet you in that mess. And that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I'm going to finish working on my mess. I've got some YouTube going and some encouraging women that I'm listening to. So anyways, be encouraged, friends. You can do this. You can do this. Well, hey, guys. We are just getting ready to head out the door. We have to go to um, Aubrey and Colt's grandma's house, and we're going to pick her up. And then we are heading to camp to go view it, see if it's going to be a good fit for Aubrey. I'm just getting the diaper bag ready to go. And we're going to head out. Whoa. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know what, but I feel like I'm forgetting something, which would not be good. I am forgetting something. I'm forgetting Colt's body.
I've got my big old water here. Um, we are at my in-laws house. The kids are outside playing. We went to camp, uh, today to check it out for Aubrey's, um, summer camp experience. I think she's going to love it. She seemed to really enjoy it while we were there. Um, and it was getting quite hot. It went up to 82 today. So we didn't, I didn't even think to bring the kids bathing suit. So we stopped at the grocery store, um, and bought a couple the grocery store being that there's an entire clothing department for men, women, and children. And um, they have the cutest stuff. Joe Fresh brand. Um, anyways, I hear my kiddos coming. They've been outside with Grandma. <laughs> Colt has not napped. And he's been up since 6.30. It's now after 4. So I have been just reading. And I love these kind of moments and days. Especially on the weekends when I can just open up my iPad and read um, through pins, like on Pinterest that I've saved, and blogs, and different websites and stuff. That is when I like to go ahead and take a look at all of that stuff. So, I think my kiddos are coming in, and we're probably going to get some dinner going. Well, hey guys, it's Saturday night, and I thought I would just check in with you. It's been a really good day, and we're finally home. Um, we've probably been home about an hour already. I threw some laundry in. I fed B, the dog. Um, I got the kids into bed. So um, I've got some laundry to fold. I'm looking for a movie to watch. I had um, Sleepless in Seattle on originally. Our DVD player broke a while ago, and so I just hooked my laptop up to the TV via like an HDMI cord. And so I just watch movies that way from my laptop. But Sleepless in Seattle is an older movie. I think it's from 93. And the volume was like really low no matter how hard I tried to adjust it. And the coloring was really dark. So I'm going to check and see if it's on Netflix. And if it's not, I'm going to put something else on. Um, I'm going to show you just... Ah, sorry. <laughs> I'll um, just show you a picture of what everything kind of looks like around me. And probably call it quits for the night. Um... It was such a good day today. <laughs> Just such a good day. Um, yeah, Shane's still at his trial. It's going on 9.30. He probably won't be home till after dark. Um, well, let me say, it's like going dark right now, but um, he probably won't be home till 11 or so. So I have a nice quiet evening to myself, which is fun. So here's all my laundry that needs to be folded. I was able to get Colt some new shoes today, which was kind of fun. His little feet are growing, so I found these really cute little shark shoes at the grocery store. They're navy. Um, they were originally $19, I think that says, and they are $9.94, so that was pretty fun. <clears throat> and I also got him these, oh, no, that's my oven mitt. There are some flip-flops in here. Um, I don't see them. Um, I also picked up, um, this Milani blush in Luminoso. I don't know if it can get a better color. Not really, but anyways, this is such a beautiful blush. This is my second compact of this. It is a peachy color, and it is so sheer and kind of, sp not sparkly, but there's a bit of shimmer in it. It's so perfect for summer. I actually like to put on um, my bronzer and then some blush and then put this on top of the blush and it gives it such a pretty sheen. It's awesome. So if you can find it, um, I highly recommend it. It's I learned about this from a lot of um, beauty vloggers and they really recommend this. So again, it is a Luminoso and my camera won't focus. So sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'm going to watch. I can't seem to find... Um, Sleepless in Seattle isn't on Netflix, so I'm thinking about maybe watching The Princess Bride. Um, well, hey guys, it's Monday, and I'm sorry I didn't film anything on Sunday, but uh, it was just kind of a hangout day. Um, the kids were just, I don't know, we just hung out all day. And Colt is potty training, so I just, I'm not filming the kids as much because he is, you know, in that uh, potty training phase. So anyways, I just, this is Monday morning. I wanted to share with you quickly what I'm up to, and um, so this morning at 8.30, I just started baking um, 
This is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. This is um, a banana cake recipe, but I actually substituted pumpkin for the bananas and added some pumpkin pie spice to make pumpkin cake. And then I'll put like a, a gloss slash frosting on top called a glossing. And it's all um, Trim Healthy Mama friendly, so it's good for me. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It turned out really great. I've got some oil going in my, well, some butter going in my pan to make some eggs. I'm watching Happily Housewife. Um, I am making lazy lasagna for my dinner. Well, not my dinner, the family dinner. Um, and so what I did is I went ahead and I um, got my meat mixture all ready for that. So that's some uh, ground hamburger and some tomato sauce. And that tomato sauce is left over from our pizza night on Friday. And then there's some spices like oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, some salt and pepper. Got myself my lovely coffee. These, I think, I probably have mentioned these before, but these are travel cups that you can get at Starbucks. And they are, well right now they're $2 here in Canada. However, I've purchased them for a dollar before, so I think they may have went up. But I love these for coffee. And then I just got my eggs. Um, and I've been doing dishes. I got my spinach thawing, and so I got all that. Um, yeah, so that, it's been a pretty productive morning. It is 9.39, and I am looking forward to a good day. I'm probably going to sign off here, and, um, wish you guys a really great day. I have some filming that I'm hoping to get done today, so hopefully that goes good, and I will chat with y'all later. Bye!